the Bofors Torwagen, while its narrow turret in its frontal projection doesn't have any weak spots at all. Doesn't have any weak spots at all. Hello everybody and welcome to Awesome Epic guys. It's been two weeks and it's finally time for the highly anticipated new tier 8 premium tank of the week. This is the Bofors Torwagen. Say that three times fast. It basically means turret wagon. This is probably one of many upcoming Christmas box tanks. It's a Swedish tier 8 heavy tank with a 120 mm 400 alpha damage gun. This is an extremely sluggish and derpy hull down shonker of a vehicle. The turret is basically impenetrable. It has no weak spots whatsoever. Doesn't have any weak spots at all. Hull is in classic cooldown fashion, nothing to brag about. However, it's kind of reminiscent from the other Swedish heavies, as in they are mostly reliant on angles and not raw thickness alone. It receives a lot of damage from artillery, because if you look at the engine deck, it's as huge and flat as your mother's ass. Me and Swatch have gone kind of overkill. I have a very strong crew, a five and almost six skill crew. Bounty Rammer, I got Bond Turbo and Bounty Improved Aiming and freaking Bond Directive to make it go even faster. Coffee as well. And even with everything of this combined, um, the DPM sucks. The gun handling is horrendous and the accuracy is even worse and the mobility is so low that you would think that the crewmen inside are trying to push the tank forwards well those are the basic numbers if you want our full and honest opinions and conclusion and final thoughts about this glorious tank let's be real you probably don't but if you do watch until the end of the gameplay where we're gonna summarize this tank for you now switch let's head into battle awesome epic Oh. <sighs> Come on, Chunker boys. This T77 black. Oh, my premium is not new anymore. Uh. Shut up, T77. You're an old premium tank. He's like a dinosaur. <laughs> Extinct. Oh god, this is a, such a chunker search. Nice. Yeah, oh, Christ. Load like <clears throat> Loaded premium. We are below though. Whoop. Oh. Honk. These people be like, how do you pen that? This thing has 297 millimeters of pen. That's a lot of pen. That's a lot of pen. Oh god. I think you need it though to compensate for the accuracy. You just can't aim reliably for weak spots. You're just aiming for central mass and pull the trigger. Hello Chrysler. Ugh. Do we need a chief for this guy? It's like red everywhere. I can I get a green marker in the cupola, but I can't hit it. Loading the high explosive ammunition. Oh yes. Oh god, this gun is so derpy. I just can't hit it. Oh, ah, 74. Get, get absolutely destroyed. Uh, let's go back to base first, look at the map. Oh my god, what a shonker this is. This is Bond Turbo with freaking Turbo Directive, by the way. God, look at all this. Ooh. Mm. I connected Ooh. a shell switch. You are insane. I know. Uh. <laughs> I need to kill this turtle. Oh, Rip. this DPM. It feels like you're like stunned non-stop when you're playing this thing. Oh! Well, Screw you, Russia. Oh, oh. This freaking EBR, man. He's so lucky. Oh. He, he just casually drove up the rock. Uh! Hold on. Your it's... last mission is to kill that EBR. No. I refuse. Yes. You're gonna get rushed in the ass if you don't. Yeah, roughly. Oh! I think he's stuck. Ah! He... Yeah, he's stuck up there. Oh, he freaking missed! Holy sh... What? Matrix tank. Oh! Okay, the EBR is stuck. Ignore Gamer! it. Gamer! Uh, almost! Oh, here comes a Skoda. Hello, Skoda! Chumka. Hello there. <laughs> uh, have you seen uh, Have you seen a, a new premium tank around here somewhere? I think he went uh, over there. Yeah, he's he went the other way. It's north, north, south. Um. Oh. Hello, oh. teenage. 
Please don't shoot me! No! And there that EVR came back. <laughs> oh my god, that was so stupid. Well, uh, that was a great first game. Uh, let's go, Sverch. Let's mm. have another glorious game in the new Tornvagn tank. Bofors Tornvagn. Oh, this thing is so sluggish. We do have like a quadrillion tanks here, though. So if they shoot, oh, there we go. Our team should be able. Oh, mm -hmm. I hit him, but it didn't do anything. So it seems good. to be it seems to be a common theme with this gun. I don't I'm, know where you uh, are, but I'll be there in the future. What do you mean armor not hit? Let's go. Oh, there you go. Oh shit, Borsik. Yeah, you usually can't peek much further than that. Okay, he doesn't have lines. It's fine. Okay, he did have lines. But it didn't pen. Because he's there German. No. Oh. Just kill the turtle, let's go. Bah. There he is. Finish him. He's German, he's only got one hit point. <laughs> I missed him completely. Yeah, this gun is uh, very much like that. There you go. Okay. Perfect tanking in action. Whoops. I'm gonna climb up here then, because we are pushing through the other side now. They're gonna have to relocate. Yep. Hello, boys! Say hello to my turret! Doesn't have any weak spots at all! No. Oh dear god, this tank is boring, Svarch. Hold here, Svarch. Hold here. Oh my god, this thing is such a pain to drive. Hello, Brask. I'm, I'm constantly trying to heal my driver, but apparently he's, he's functional. There's the Hello, Brask. Brask. Yes! Oh, oh, damn. The plan Gizzard. worked! Gizzard is in the bush. Uh, this is what you get, Wargaming, when you introduce too much turret armor and auto loaders to the game. Well, this has been a waste of time. Yep. Two thousand years later. That's the third. That's the fourth. Yeah, that, yeah let's go. Now you wait. You wait, wait, wait. wait. You're one shot for the brask. Oh, God. Oh, my God. Nah, he missed the brask. That was so important. Shit, man. Oh my god. Loser Pomolet. Nice. Come, Come on. on. Go. Come on, gamers. I'm out of premium and can't damage the SU, I think. Oh, there nice. You go. Let's go oh. and kill that bastard. Oh my god. There he is. Jesus Christ. Oh. This has to be one of the lamest carries we have ever done, Svetch. This game yeah, I, took I, I almost did, 15 minutes. I did 900 damage this entire <laughs> game. I think um, I got, got one blind to the juice, or that, that was about it. At least I did 1800 assist from just sitting there. Yeah, that's not bad. I think that game kind of summarizes that entire tank, though. Just... <laughs> this thing is such a slug. And people, this is with Bond Turbo and Turbo Directive. It doesn't get any better than this. Maybe this if you drop it from a mountain. With a Bond Turbo. <laughs> a Bond Mountain. Oh, an I3. Hello. 248 pen, my ass. That's a Russian side skirt, I penned. Okay, I take it. They can't pen us anywhere, right? We're practically nope. immortal here. We're, we're, we're balanced tanks here. Very boring tanks. There you go. Oh my god, you kidding? Genom slog. Oh god. I could go through the middle. No. Oh 
What do you mean, game? Oh god, EBRs are so stupid. Engine back. Now you're just very slow. Mm hmm. Dead. What? What the f? How was he not spotted? But the eyes, you killed him before I could go down. Nay, I see you no. No! What do you mean, oh, fire? My God. Ah, <laughs> oh, mine, Svarch. Do you think our, our IKEA chunker is fast enough to claim the hill? I'm gonna have to uh, do some serious calculations for this. Hmm. But uh, I think the answer is uh, no. Let's do it anyway. <clears throat> what? He just pens straight through my turret. Nice. Oh. Holy shit, why does artillery do, do like a thousand damage on this tank? It's very flat and unarmored. I guess so. Oh, no. Ugh. Oh, farm! I'm farming, Spurge. Oh my! If this tank only had DPM, keep doing it. Gotta keep doing it, man. Uh, wait. He penetrated my gun. Oh! Somehow the gun is working this game. Oh, here's the Malachite camo. What a gamer! Oh, damn. Oh, the winning side is winning on mines? Impossible. Oh, you just gotta aim for so long with this thing! Nay! Oh my god, you freaking am right. 15 3. Wow. <laughs> In f almost 5 minutes. Wow, what a long game. Oh, they, they have a Tonwang. This battle will be legendary. I'm, I've been playing too many German tanks and lately. And I got spotted and instantly shot by artillery. Ah. <sighs> Hello, Rev. Oh, God. Oh, I got equally f***ed. Oh, damn. Artanos, please, no! Look at this freaking crater zone here. <laughs> We're on the moon, Svetch! Everybody Let's going. Let's achieve some gameplay here. How did I not pen the green lower plate unangled? What the f***? Well, that was fun. We, ki we killed another Toonwang, Svetch. GG. Oh god, are we gonna carry this now? And, and most importantly, I killed a French premium medium tank from like five years ago. This Lynx is standing still in a wheel tank, you shouldn't do that. Oh my god, nice. Svetch. You actually hit a shell. Toonvang, oh. carry! Here comes the Scorpion. Oh. But I'm, I'm loading. I'm not. I'm spotted though. He's tracked. Oh! Ooh. Didn't pan him though. Come on. Shit. Come carry on, time. AMX kill AMX. I oh my god. Didn't. Very epic. Oh, here comes the AMX. Not nice. Svetch, let's go for their base. They cut across here. I'm gonna cap. Hopefully, the turret's gonna come my way. I missed. Oh my god. It almost hit you. Can inside the cap, can inside the cap, Svetch? We actually carried that shit. Oh my god. Well. Unbelievable. Wow. This no. tank is so... boring. <laughs> Who was that mm. guy in the Toon Run on the enemy team? I wanna have a look. Shudi Shudsuki. If you're watching this video, good game, bro. What are your conclusions about this uh, Swedish chunker? As usual, we got this tank on a very short notice. Many games were left out of this video because they were simply too boring to be highlighted on our channel. Which, ironically, 
sums up this vehicle pretty well. The combining factors of low DPM, poor gun handling, bad accuracy and very sluggish mobility makes this tank a garbage truck of an experience. And we are stating this with an overkill setup to back it up. My heart goes out to you if you are running this tank with just normal equipment or god forbid no equipment at all. Me and Swatch we like to advocate for fun and enjoyable and meme tanks. We believe that fun factor should be the most important stat of a vehicle if you like. Unfortunately this vehicle does not fall under that designation. This tank is both boring to play as and will most likely be pretty boring to play against. If you are a player of this tank, you will struggle to even get into position and you will miss pretty much every shot you attempt to take and you will get nuked by artillery really hard. And if you are unfortunate enough to go up against this tank, well, it's just yet another hold down beast with an impenetrable turret with no weak spots. Doesn't have any weak spots at all. You could definitely argue that this tank will generally decrease the flow or you know, slow the games down a little bit, which might be good in today's, you know, three minute ruffle stomp meta with autoloaders and speedy demon tanks with wheels and all that. But I don't think that adding yet another hold down tank with an impenetrable turret and no weak spot with a gun that can't hit anything is that much better. Uh, I don't want a 3 minute ruffle stomp game, but on the other hand I don't want a 15 minute draw because tanks are just staring at each other hold down with the impenetrable turrets. We understand why Wargaming went with all these underwhelming stats on basically everything of the tank except for the turret, because let's be real, if this thing had good gun handling or good DPM, or god forbid if it was really fast, this tank would without doubt be extremely good and probably way too good, you know, <coughs> overpowered. But in my opinion, I don't see why they couldn't just have given this tank, you know, a small little weak spot to hit on the top of the turret, and to compensate that, make the tank maybe a little bit quicker and buff the gun a little bit to make it more fun to play and play against because as we just stated this tank is just boring. It is similar to the last year's Christmas box tank the Bisonte where the Bisonte had a lot of like overpowered factors going for it but it also has a lot of frustrating factors going for it which ultimately leads to people not choosing to play the tank at all. Because by the end of the day, if you can't hit anything or you can't pen anything, what's the point? What do you think about this glorious Swedish chonker? Do you think this tank is gonna break the game? Do you think it is much better or even much worse than we are making it out to be? Will you get one? Or do you think that this tank is just gonna be forgotten in a few weeks in the ocean of tier 8 premiums? And people, while you are down there typing your glorious comments about this tank, don't forget to smack a like for IKEA! Subscribe if you haven't already and share this video to your friends and to your mother! I'm expecting the next tier 8 premium to drop like in... Uh... 24 hours, so we'll see you in that video. Bye bye. Yeah, let's go make, make the next Cherry Premium Swatch. I'm so excited! Doesn't have any weak spots at all.